What is that? That's the question you'll hear asked, or at least the expression you'll see worn on the faces of many shoppers in a growing number of Schnucks grocery stores. And the answer? What we have is a robot called Tally, and Tally is a robot that drives through the stores and helps the stores with their inventory. That's right, robots have come to your local grocery. Now, we know what you're thinking. It's not that. No killer robot will be creating a call for cleanup on aisle six. You know, see Tally and you think, oh, okay, this is like scary machine coming down the aisle. It's like, okay, it's a cute little robot. So that's one of the things I like. And what grocers like is a potential for more efficiency. Tally makes a three hour trip around a schnook store three times a day, checking every single shelf. When the robot finds an empty spot, it checks its inventory list and messages the store staff that there's an item in need of some restocking. It's essentially looking to find where there's holes in the shelf. Um, so that's the most important part is when something's completely out on the shelf, that is um, a missed opportunity for the shopper. Tally is made by a San Francisco company called Simbi Robotics. It's one of the first companies in the U.S. to produce such a robot. We didn't have an overwhelming desire to go into the robot business. We, we ran into Tally at a uh, conference, thought it was an interesting technology. So Schnucks decided to try it out and has become Simbi Robotics' biggest customer. Schnucks is one of the first to be using these robots like this, um, and they have definitely embraced Tally in a way that not a lot of other stores have yet, so they're definitely one of the first to start bringing in this technology to scale. So Schnucks is getting comfortable with a label you might not expect a family-owned regional grocery chain in the Midwest to take on, Robotics Pioneer. You name the big chains, we're out in front of them, and, and that is an exciting place to be. But there is still a long way to go. Some employees complain Tally is the source of many an afternoon traffic jam. It gets in their way. So when might the robots be everywhere? Well, right now they're in 15 stores and Schnucks is working to determine just how much efficiency they're gaining from Tally. They don't have numbers yet, but... I know I'm confident we'll see an improvement in, in stock position in those stores. We're asking Simbi to make some modifications to, uh, to help improve things a little bit, uh, give us more capability with a robot, and once that's delivered, I, I don't see anything that's stopping us from deploying across all our stores. Then there's the question of people. Is Tally a step toward taking a human's job? All involved insist that's not the case. Tally doesn't have arms. It can't stock items on the shelf. It's really a tool for the stores to use and help them focus on customer service. So this really frees up the store team to actually fix problems immediately when they happen and will also give them more time to interact with the shoppers in the store. That's something Tally doesn't do much doing everything it can to avoid an obstacle, human or inanimate. It's um, kind of a shy robot. And one that may be a first step toward getting us all assimilated to having robots as part of our daily lives. Anyone can come into a grocery store and they get to see this cool robot driving around, um, which is really exciting for me.